trunk in the front. Wow. All right, here we are, here you guys are. Welcome back everybody, it's another Sunday. It's time now for our Coffee with Conti show right here on our Corvette YouTube channel. Welcome everyone, and I do not have <laughs> prop coffee in this thing, I am tired. But I wanted to capture that early morning essence. So yes, I'm here early in the morning, but it's actually kind of kind of creepy. Here, let me turn the camera light off here real quick. See what I mean? All the, all the lot lights are not working properly. <laughs> they never do, and uh, yeah, it's a little weird, kind of creepy. Look at this big giant moth on the side of the car. That's all right, though. I'm not scared. Let me set this down here for a second. Boy, there's a lot going on right now in the Corvette community, isn't there? <laughs> a lot of conversation. A lot of people still seeking for information on the C8 2020 Corvette. So much has been whooshed out to you so fast that it's hard to dissect that. And I'm still going through information. I actually picked up something from one of the seminars at Corvettes at Carlisle when Harlan was talking recently. We're gonna talk about that today on the vlog. Show you a couple little clips here in just a second. Speaking of Carlisle, I know that show, if you're watching this vlog in real time, many of you are up early and you're now traveling to the next big event, the 25th anniversary for the National Corvette Museum. The National Corvette Caravan is underway. TV stations, everybody's talking about this thing. So Sky 2 was over the Elks Lodge Ooh. in Pasadena and check out all of those Corvettes. They are getting ready for a seven day trek cross country. Corvette Caravan to Bowling Green, Kentucky. That's where Corvettes from all around the country will gather for the 25th anniversary of the National Corvette Museum. Now, nice letter from Jim Merkel. He says this week all roads lead to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Jim, you are right, sir. I'm a proud National Corvette Museum lifetime member. Hoping I could sneak out of here and be down there with you guys. I wanted to be at Carlisle, but I had a couple of people come in picking up cars, so you've got to take care of home base first before I can go out and play around with you guys. The 25th anniversary of the National Corvette Museum with the National Corvette Caravan with all of you is going to be absolutely spectacular. Here's the last time that the caravan actually stopped at our dealership here in Pataskala. I mean, what a way to end summer with two major Corvette events. Corvettes at Carlisle, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make that. Thank you so much for thinking about me. Facebook messages, text messages, emails, calls. Hey, Rick, you gonna be here? Hey, are you here? I wanna meet up with you. I wasn't able to get there. I had to be here and take care of home base. Actually, one of the guys that took delivery just recently, you're gonna see today on the vlog. But coming up with the National Corvette Museum's caravan, I'm hoping that and it's in the end of the month too, so oh my gosh. But I'm gonna try and sneak out for a day just to head down there. I know I won't get a hotel, but just to just to see the mass, masses of Corvettes everywhere. I just I wanna see that in person. I mean, I'm proud to be a lifetime member of the National Corvette Museum. So if I can't make it there with you guys, if you would do me a favor along your caravans, if you get those pictures out the rear view mirrors, out the side mirrors, just little stops that you make and you have all your club members together, send me those pictures. Probably text message is gonna be the best way to get those to me. Send those to me as you caravan to the National Corvette Museum while you're there. And then in future vlogs, we'll rotate those pictures in and share those highlights with everybody that, just like me, most likely that can't make it. Now, Jim said, Rick, this week, all roads lead to Bowling Green for the National Corvette Caravan. Yes, sir, they do. Because you may want to do a send-off pat and wish everybody safe travels. You know what, Jim? That's a great idea. So here, let me, I don't know if you guys can see me because it's still kind of creepy out here, but let me just do a national send-off pat and truly to wish all of you safe travels. If you're, not, if you're leaving Carlisle and you're not going to the National Corvette Museum, please be safe, absolutely. And for all of you coming from different parts of the country, going to Bowling Green, Kentucky, remember what we talked about in a previous video, stay off your phone. Use your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, use your Bluetooth, or let your passenger get on the phone. Keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Definitely be safe and have a great time, but definitely be safe. So let me do a national send-off, Pat, for everybody going to the 25th anniversary of the National Corvette Museum. Can you guys see me back here? All right, we just do a little send-off, Pat. All right, take care, guys. Be careful.
Well, that was kind of cool. Jim, thanks for the idea. I appreciate it. Now, speaking of send-off pats, we're going to have some of those for you today on the show. One to Illinois, one to South Carolina, and an older clip to a really cool guy in Mississippi. But first, a couple of quick reminders. One being, if you don't get a chance to watch this entire vlog in one sitting, please come back and check it out. Got some great people I want to share with you guys, and I don't want you to miss that. That's part of what we love doing on this channel. Not just the stuff that I experience, but your experiences that we have the opportunity to share. Now, if you're watching this video in real time, a reminder for tomorrow, Monday the 26th, at Coughlin Circleville. Proud to have the opportunity to meet retired engineer Jim Miro. He's going to be doing flashes of your magnetic ride control on C6 Corvettes from 4 to 6 p.m., I found some of the old ZR1 orange posters. He's gonna autograph a few of those. I'll give some of those away on a future vlog for you guys. If you get a chance, you're in the Coughlin Circleville area, come down and see us on Monday. A couple of more reminders. Our all free car show for all cars, trucks, bikes, whatever the case may be, that's gonna be on Saturday, September 7th, right here at Coughlin Pataskala. It's the biggest free car show in the state of Ohio. Free food, 100 trophies. That's on September 7th. And here where it gets a little confusing. On Monday, September 9th is when the C8 dealer tour will be here at our dealership from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. And the first 500 people have an opportunity to get this free exclusive poster that we designed. Trunk in the front. Wow. Now, speaking of the C8 2020 mid-engine Corvette, that's all anybody's talking about. Trying to discover information, trying to see the car, sit in the car. Again, you'll be able to do that here at our dealership on September 9th. But I'm picking up little tidbits from some of the video clips that you guys shared just recently from Corvettes of Carlisle, and I thank you for that. And that is the roof weights. None of that stuff was in the published data that we got. Something else I picked up too, thanks to Harlan. I wanna share that with you in just a second. But as far as the roof weights, the carbon fiber roof, weighs only 14 pounds. Now the painted roof is no longer carbon fiber like it is on the C7 car, that's 15 and a half pounds. And then you have the transparent roof that is now 17 pounds. Now, the other thing I picked up in the video highlights that you guys have been sharing, and I do appreciate that very much, but this was in the printed data, but it's just been so crazy trying to shuffle through all the inquiries and read through that data, and you kind of skim through it, and I skimmed right through the memory package, not seeing that the passenger now has a memory setting for the passenger. How about that? That'll be in two and three LT packages for the 2020 Corvette. Trunk in the front. Wow. Now here's one thing that I've known, but I'm glad that Taj addressed it recently at Corvettes at Carlisle. All these C8 cars you see running around, those are EX VIN numbers, experimental. There was 14 cars at Carlisle. All these beautiful cars, you know what's gonna happen to these cars? They're gonna crush them. <laughs> it is sad to think that all these great cars that got us excited that you're looking at are gonna be destroyed. They're not even making retail cars yet. Here's Taj explaining that. So we have 14 cars here, but that doesn't mean cars are rolling off the assembly line. I want to give you a little bit of perspective uh, that these are all EX VIN. If you look at the vehicle identification number, you'll see the letters E and X after that. That stands for experimental. So these are cars built actually before we start the production run. So even our early captured test fleet cars, the cars that we drive for months before we actually produce and ship cars for customers, we don't even have those yet. Those will be saleable cars, they'll have saleable bins on them, we'll drive them, then they'll be sold at auction to dealers a year later. So we haven't even received those cars. So these are actually pre that. So people are thinking, oh, the car's in production, we've got all these cars here. We still have a ways to go. We have to do some additional test work, some final uh, tweaking on the calibrations. That's one really nice thing about modern cars is that they're um, very changeable with software and calibrations. And our new electrical system lets us do over-the-air downloads, and so we can actually cause cars to be better uh, on the fly without uh, bringing them in. So a lot of little fine-tuning uh, still left to do to make sure the car is perfect when we finally do start production. Here. When can we expect these at dealerships? 
when can we expect them at dealerships? So uh, we're, as I mentioned, we're going to keep building the current car for a couple more months. Then we have a dark period in Bowling Green. We do our last of our tool install and setup, getting ready for this. So right at the end of the year, we expect to start to make customer cars. So um, really, honestly, to get any volume of cars at dealerships, so anybody who's got one of the early orders, likely to be early next year. So first quarter or end of first quarter? Well, we should have cars out before the end of the first quarter. Cool. I would hope so. That's our plan, anyway. Thank you. Trunk in the front. Wow. You know what, guys? I can't even begin to think about the monumental tasks, the incredible amount of time, and the ton of people it took to make this new car come together. Well, they should be proud. Here's Taj getting a little sassy. Corvette's a Carlisle. Looks better than a Ferrari, don't you think? Yeah! This is a Ferrari killer right here. Uh, yeah, I love it. In your face, Ferrari. The fr He said it, man. He said it. The Ferrari killer. Can you believe it? Everyone's talking. I love it. I just absolutely love it. It's fantastic. <laughs> well, more focused C8 discussions coming up on this channel. Make sure you subscribe. Come back. Hit the bell notification. I'm going to be talking about why I think right now many of you are buying the wrong car and you're missing what Chevrolet was listening to you have provided and you're missing it. All You're like, what's going on? And we were the first channel out there to talk about the potential, really not even, a it's going to happen, you guys, a price increase on this car. And some of you in that video made nasty comments down below. Hey, Rick, you're nuts. No, I'm not. This is based on experience. This is based on trends. This is based on C7. Now other channels are talking about it, even MSN Auto. Autos just recently he's talked about you better get your car starting at 60 grand because that's not going to last. Again, more focused videos on C8 still to come on this channel. Thank you so much. All right, let's do some send off pats. Uh, one, this is a ZR1. Yeah, you got to see that going to Ryan in South Carolina. Oh, yeah, that pitter patter of a ZR1 in the background, guys. Yeah, baby. I'll tell you what, I'd like to have been out here sooner. Ryan in South Carolina, I know you want to be out here sooner shipping your car. Thank you for the understanding and thank you for the business. The, the shipping industry for automobiles is, is, is changing. Uh, the business as a whole is changing, so it's worth the wait not to get, not to get some idiot shipping your car. I mean, you got to have this bad boy go on that, that big bad boy. Yes, and I know once you get in the car, once you start driving and bang through second, third, fourth gear, you're going to go, ah. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's the moment I'd like to capture. Maybe you guys can do that one time. Wives out there, do that for me if you could. The first time that your husbands get in their car after it comes off the carrier and they're driving it, capture that 12-year-old grin. <laughs> All right? I'd love to share it on the vlog. Thank you so much. But congratulations again, Ryan. I do appreciate the business. Uh, I know you thought about coming up here, but your schedule doesn't permit that. That's cool. I get it. But I'm just happy to be a part of it. And the folks, I mean, this is almost over. There's less, just so you know, there's less than 50 ZR1s in the country right now recording this third week of August. All right, so, oh, he's getting ready to load. I got to do send up patent and rub of the wing. Oh, my gosh, what am I doing? I didn't talk to you guys forever. Congratulations, Ryan, South Carolina. Send off. Oh, I missed that one. Send off, Pat. And a little rub of that wing. He almost, shh. He, I'm going to get my, I'm going to. I'm going to get my stall on the vlog from the driver. He's looking down and wait a minute. Is this a stick shift or an automatic? Hmm, that something feels kind of funny right now. <laughs> I'm not going to tease. I'm not going to tease the driver. There's two stalls on the vlog. I might have to hop in this one. Poor guy. If I would just put the damn camera down and go help. <laughs> Hang on. There you go, baby. We've been waiting for one for a long time today. We gave you four stalls, but it's it's not funny when it's the driver. It needs to be you. <laughs> oh man. And you know what, guys? I've been scanning the Chevrolet inventories to see where we're at as far as how many ZR1s are left, making sure nothing else gets invoiced. Right now, 45 cars that I can see in our system are left for ZR1 with production now being done. 
We've got one in stock. We just bought three more. If you're interested in what is currently the fastest production Corvette ever made, and really truly an incredible car, the link to those ZR1s are down below in the description right here on the YouTube channel. Now, speaking of C7 and C8 being on your mind, what do you, what do, you do? Don in Illinois, just outside of Chicago, ordered a beautiful, which you're gonna see here in a second, C7 Corvette. Called him up to take delivery, and he says, man, Rick, I, I'm getting this a lot. I, I don't know, maybe I should wait for the C8. I, I, it's just, I just don't. It, huh, huge, discussion, huge decisions for you guys to make right now. Fantastic car, incredible value. Get the latest and the greatest, but you're gonna have to wait for the car. And I think a little bit longer than some people anticipate, just because there's so much wrong information about cars being made, if they're being made, when they're coming. It's just crazy, I don't wanna get into that. But once you see the C7, if you've never sat in one, there's many that haven't, that haven't even driven a C7 Corvette. Man, is it a great, fun car to drive. And Don came in from Illinois, and he's glad he took delivery of the very car that he ordered for 2019. It's gorgeous, check this out. Hey, even if it's for a second, I'd like to get you guys on the channel that we have an opportunity to meet and actually do business with. Don is behind me here, you can see. Man, I'll tell you what, I gotta get a step stool. All my customers are taller than me, man. Look at how this guy is. Of course, I'm just short. Don, welcome. Thank you very much, Rick. Good to see you, man. How many Corvettes have you had? Everything from, uh... C3 on up to today. No kidding. Yeah. You're trading in uh, this beautiful 2010 right there. More on that coming up in the channel. And he'd ordered this great looking Elkhart Lake Blue two tone gray interior. Let me show him what we did inside, too. You and I talked about this on the phone. And what a difference. Well, I got to get the mat out of there. What a difference it makes. Because when you do the gray interior, you get the gray carpeting. But I suggested doing the black mats as well. Look at a great tie-in, plus the two-tone seat is a nice tie-in, so just a beautiful flowing interior. Did a great job, man, it looks great. Thank you, you recommended that, Rick. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, I know your wife couldn't be here, so Diana. Diana, hello, we miss you, sorry you couldn't be here. Your husband said uh, she's not up for the long trip. That's okay, my wife's the same way. <laughs> she's about good for 20, 30 minutes and she wants out of the car. I'd like to recommend Rick, he made this whole process here today. Painless. That's nice. I drove from the Chicago area to get this car. Oh, I appreciate that. That's and, nice uh, of you. I've only been here about an hour and everything's finished. Yeah, no, well, it's not finished yet. We're going to show them how to use all this oh. fun stuff on this car. <laughs> that way you can enjoy it, you know. I mean, I know you know the gas is on the right and all that good stuff, but I want them to really know and enjoy the car. We're going to program it, radio stations, phones, and all the stuff that you guys need when you're rolling. That's why I wish you could be here for delivery. And I know some of the people that we deal with, you know, in Texas and Vegas and California, you're not going to make that long, long trip, but we'd like to get the car set up for you the best we possibly can. So I'm excited to actually do that with you in person. Show to use those parking cameras. Terrific. All that neat stuff, okay? Yeah. And then, I know you watch this YouTube thingy yes, once in a while, do. don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you call me. I think he thinks I'm kind of goofy too, but that's okay. We just, we like to make it fun and keep it he's, real, guys. He's a high energy man, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he ever sits down. Uh, running out of gas soon though, boys. I <laughs> only got a couple more years left in me. <laughs> But we're gonna do we're gonna do the send-off pad. I'm sorry the camera's all over the place. He is taller than I am, like way taller. We're gonna do the send-off pad so we can get him started in his beautiful 2019 Grand Sport here in just a bit, so don't go anywhere. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Good luck to you. You too, sir. All right, for Don and Diana in Illinois, send off Pat. Nice to meet you, man. Congratulations, Don. All right, and our last clip today, well, this one's about six months old, but I just get to deal with so many cool people. That's what makes my job enjoyable, dealing with you guys fantastic people and dealing with this car that is just freaking incredible but this guy is cooler than cool right, i'm sorry if i'm sniffling it's cold it's like really cold and uh, we're excited that ben's here and he's picking up his grand sport seven speed car i think a lot of people realizing that the c8 is around the corner and then actually having that participation that little different flavor to driving is going away. Ben is here. Congratulations, dude. Hey, Rick. Thanks, man. It's fantastic. I'm excited. Man. This is. This I know is you're wonderful. excited. This you said wonderful. you slept. You didn't even sleep last night. I, did, I didn't sleep last night, but 
you know <laughs> I guess every guy goes through this when you know when you're talking about a Corvette and something you're wanting at the end of the day yeah. I, I never thought or dreamed that I will be purchasing a Corvette but Look at this, this guy. is exciting red paddles manual oh it's real exciting is, what's this neat is, is crazy you, your business what you do for a living has brought you to the Columbus area absolutely so you and I have had an opportunity to meet uh, a couple of times in the spring and summertime yep. Yep. Uh, you know deciding what you want to do looking at different cars and you know talk about this and that and then lo and behold here he is up for the holidays and uh, and he's picking up a grant sport and <laughs> and you went through the the decision of do I do automatic do I do manual transmission yep, yep. and uh, and tough choice but yeah. at the end of the day went back to the seven speed I, I think I think that's a great fit at the end of the day yeah um, yeah but I, I think I'm gonna have far more enjoyment driving the seven speed than I would well you work a lot of hours I do you I know do. and I was just talking with the guy earlier today and I said to you know, to him you know for the for the guys that you know you're, you're busy but yet you still want something for yourself and some time for yourself so you know the most fun I think you're gonna have in this car especially if you're in it for a minimal amount of time is definitely gonna be the seven speed transmission so I mean when you just you get in from that long week you travel a lot because yep. you're from what state again I am from Mississippi from Mississippi all right fantastic. <laughs> please don't make me spell it uh, first question what I ask you is and I know that you've been here as we just stated you've been here a couple of times but how did you how did you hear about our our store myself wow. and what have you um, actually on YouTube I saw your blog on okay. YouTube cool. and uh, just checked you out a couple of times um, found it interesting um, <laughs> now you're on it I think it's even more interesting <laughs> it is, absolutely yeah, good for you man um, really just at the end of the day it seemed you really enjoyed what you were doing it wasn't more so about you as a personality but more so about the car well, thank you um, and I said man if I ever get to Ohio I'm gonna visit that dealership not knowing that I would be potentially working here <laughs> in Ohio and going back and forth but yeah yeah um, this is just crazy I didn't even fathom that I would be doing this this is cool now and for you guys watching the channel, I'm going to go more into this in another vlog. Uh, by the time this airs, we may have already talked about it, so I apologize if we had. But looking at the analytics of the people actually watching us here on YouTube, and the core audience, my core, there's a lot of you, and I appreciate that, but the core is 45 to 65. And my 35 to 45 is growing tremendously, which is a bracket that you're in. Absolutely. So you're <laughs> you're a younger guy, uh, you, spent, you you got a Grand Sport, 2LT, 2LT. Uh, Navigation, Jake Hood Stinger, I mean, I mean, this is not a, just an entry-level car you had some choices in the marketplace and my question is what made you decide Corvette Wow well first <laughs> just the just the the look uh, of the Corvette I, I think is just phenomenal I mean okay. at, at the end of the day I think this is probably the hottest car um, out there sweet and just you know being able to sit behind the the, the, the driver's <laughs> the wheel of this thing and uh, I, I'm, I'm just excited I don't even yeah, know what yeah. more to say this is my this is my weekend toy and I'm gonna enjoy it uh, I think you. I deserve it so <laughs> yes hey. well said Hey, okay, Rick, I'm going to take the white car. I'm going to take the manual transmission. Made one request, though. And I usually honor the requests within reason. He says, please leave the plastic on the passenger seat. So I got to know what's that all about. <laughs> Maybe I don't want any passengers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this car really is for you. And you only, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey, man, congratulations. Hey, Rick, thank you again. Yeah, make sure you still come see me, though, when I you're will. back in town, because I love that. That was absolutely. great. Absolutely. I will, I will definitely come back. I appreciate that, man. All right. Congratulations. Be careful. Have fun. We got to do a little send off, Pat, for Ben. Congratulations, Ben. <laughs> yeah, man. He's doing good. Thanks, Ben. Wonderful working with you, man. All right, you can see.
see the sun starting to come up. Actually, let me turn that camera light off again. Can you see it now? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, buddy. I love being outside at this time of the day. Thanks for watching this show. I hope you enjoyed the upload. Make some comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. I'm looking forward to meeting Jamiro tomorrow at Coughlin Circleville. And many of you that have the opportunity to come down there and check us out and get one of those free ZR1 posters while supplies last, I'll get them to autograph some and we'll have those on future vlogs for a giveaway for you guys as well. We'll have highlights from that meet and greet on Tuesday's upload, part of our quick tip from Rick, along with your beautiful rides. Have a fantastic day, everybody.